New York is trying to revive its arts scene after a year of lockdown measures. Pop-up music performances are taking place across the city as restrictions are eased. Sarah Walton tells us more. There hasn't been a sight like this in New York for more than a year. Musician John Batiste gave one of the first live performances with an audience in the city since lockdown began last March. It marked the start of 300 free pop-up shows planned across the state in the next few months as part of an arts revival festival announced by the governor, Andrew Cuomo. The socially distanced shows aren't advertised in advance to stop crowds from gathering, but they're attracting big names. Legendary singer-songwriter Patti Smith performed at the Brooklyn Museum, and actors Hugh Jackman and Sarah Jessica Parker are also slated to take part. <laughs> Grammy-winning singer Janae Bridges swapped opera houses for a shop front in Manhattan. She says the performances are a way of reminding people of the importance of the city's music scene. The culture and arts in New York is really what, what keeps us going and alive, and not just New York, I, I think the world. Um, but it was really such a wonderful feeling to be able to use my instrument, my voice, safely and um, see that New Yorkers are still very much alive and appreciative of art, of music. It's been more than a year since the pandemic forced the city's theatres to close and Broadway went dark. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. New York is planning to ease restrictions on public gatherings in April, and there are plans for more venues here to gradually join the festival. It's hoped all theatres could reopen with a limited seating capacity at the end of May. The organiser says the pop-up shows are aimed at preparing the public and performers for when that happens. Art and performance in particular I think is so powerful in reminding us what it is to be in community with each other. And I think that's what we most urgently need. Um, and this is serving that purpose. And it's also trying to get as many New York artists back on their feet in front of audiences and being paid for it. Dancer and choreographer Ayodeli Cassell also took part in the festival and says now is a crucial time for the city to invest in arts projects. I want institutions and organizations to, to you know, really take risks um, with, their, with, with the funding that they're getting and, and to engage artists like immediately. I hope that, that this is the, the beginning of appreciation for all artists. You know, we are essential. And also, you know, it can't hurt to have more tap dancing everywhere. <laughs> the hope is that by the summer, enough people will be vaccinated in New York to hold large-scale performances and that arts and culture will reawaken the city that never sleeps. Sarah Walton, CNA, New York.